song we played for you tonight was Watermelon Man by Herbie Hancock, and it featured Joseph Johnson on the tenor saxophone. Way to go, Joseph. Next song we're going to play for you tonight is It Don't Mean a Thing, If It Ain't Got That Swing by Duke Ellington back in uh, 1939. It's going to uh, feature uh, Shelby Hughes on the alto saxophone, along with Luke Williams on the trumpet, and Megan Miller on the piano. Here is, it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. treat in store for you now. As is my custom, uh, I always like to bring in a guest artist to perform with the band at the spring concert. Last year we brought in John Harner, a long time uh, jazz band director. This year I didn't have to look very far at all. Uh, I talked with uh, Mr. Eric Duenschwander, who's the uh, choir director here at Xenia High School, and uh, he was more than uh, eager to, to sing along with us. Uh, Eric's a uh, graduate of The Ohio State University. And he had the envious task of uh, taking over a program, a uh, choir program here, steeped in tradition, going back to Gene Foyles and then the Manley Brothers. But uh, ever since uh, Mr. Neumann-Schwander has taken over, he has not missed the beat at all. He's doing a fantastic job with this program, working the kids hard. They're, they've had great uh, musicals up here on the stage. And I want to put a plug in for his uh, the uh, vocal ensemble cabaret that's going to be taking place next weekend over uh, Memorial Day. If you haven't heard that group, uh, they've been practicing their tails off and it's going to be a very entertaining program. Uh, tonight the band is going to play Mac the Knife with uh, Mr. Neuschwander and uh, this goes back, uh, this is a, actually it was a German uh, opera, Three Penny Opera, and uh, the song that we're going to do tonight was made famous by Bobby Darren in, Uni in the United States back in 1959. So here's our rendition of Mac the Knife with Eric Neuschwander. Shark has pretty 
shows them pearly white Just a jackknife has Mackie for dear And he keeps it out of sight When the shark bites with his teeth So there's not a trace of red on the sidewalk Sunday morning Like the body was in line Someone sneaking around the corner Is that someone back tonight? Never, never be again on the 
dance till three. The way you changed my life. Now, no, they can't take that away from me. No, they can't take that away from me. seniors in this band. They are the core of the folks I inherited uh, two years ago when I first took this uh, band over. And, and this is, I'm having the time of my life doing this. These guys are great. Uh, we've got six seniors in the band. Five of them are with us tonight. I'd like to recognize uh, in the sax section, Mr. James Urbaugh. Did you just hear that very sax on the last song? <laughs> in our trombone section. Now that he's a trombone player for the last two years, our Director's Award winner, Joe Ramos. For those of you that won run a couple years ago, Joe used to, he was on the dark side and he played uh, saxophone. <laughs> but, but we fixed that. All right, in our trumpet section, uh, Miss Rachel Harkner Our Jonathan F. Susan winner tonight. And our Aryan winner, Mr. Luke Williams. Over there in the base, Mr. Alex Knipfer. And not with us this evening, uh, Max um, Rogers. Max is our, uh, one of our drummers, but he's been doing an uh, internship over at the Career Center uh, with Ready Electric, and, and uh, I think he takes classes at night on Thursday, so he wasn't able to attend our concert tonight, but uh, I tell you what, uh, I'll tell this to Max next time I see us. He did a great job for us last year. Uh, he had a big, uh, some big shoes to fill, and, and he did an outstanding job uh, the last two years for us on the set. So we're going to miss Max uh, tremendously. Now, now comes the hard part for me. Out of these six very talented in individuals, I had to pick one of them to be the Louis Armstrong Award winner. I know it's, get, it's getting late tonight, so I'm not going to uh, read the. Uh, you guys can look at the program and look at the, what this, why the award will start, and all that good stuff. But I had a tough decision to make, and you know I had to just think about an unheralded person in this band, equivalent to playing center on a football team. Very important position, but unheralded. You know, you're not the, the, the big star that gets the big contract and all the fame and fortune. Uh, this individual is a five-year member of this group. You just heard him on the last song. What happened? <laughs> Sorry about that. Just heard him kicking butt on that last song, Mr. James Urbaugh. Way to go, James. 
You know what, if I had another one of these things, I could give it out to five more people, but it just so happens that I do have another one of these things. Only one. This one is going to a member, and this hasn't happened since 19, or 2008 when we've had two multiple winners with the, uh, the Louis Armstrong Award. So it's, it's not a regular occurrence, it hasn't happened in several years. But this individual, I've ridden hard the last two years. I've watched this individual grow as a musician when I was sitting in those seats as a parent and now uh, running this group. The individual has done a phenomenal job growing and, and, and becoming a, a, a real talented musician in this group. Uh, he's been playing lead trumpet in this band for the last four years, Mr. Luke Williams. All right, we're going to get you guys out of here in a second. We're going to close the program with the song that we close.